Welcome back, my fishing friends. <clears throat> so I've got time, I think, to do a, a short episode here. We'll probably be able to get through the bream and then maybe a little bit of tench. Um, I've got some stuff going on with family today, spending time with with family. So it, it'll probably be tonight before I can get anything else done. But we'll try to get some more done tonight. We did have, uh, it looks like today is the day that Fishing Planet has decided to release the new Amazon map. So um, I need to take a closer look at that, but I may, I may um, spend a little bit of time on, on the new Amazon map. We'll see. I think it's going to be a lot of heavy spin fishing, which is fine. But as you know, not necessarily my favorite thing to do. So we've got like just enough time here that it might be worth actually trying some late afternoon tench before we start. Where's the right spot, by the way? It's got to be right here, right? Yeah. All right. So let's, um, let me think about this. I can't remember what size hooks people were using here for the tench. All right, so I saw someone's message that that for them, semolina was working pretty good for tench. And, uh, and so that kind of made me realize, like, I don't think we tried semolina. I tried a lot of baits over here, but I'm not sure I ever tried semolina. So let's... And I would think you would catch lots of stuff here on Semolina, so that could be fun. Uh, yeah, we'll try an eight for one of them. So our hook sizes are kind of all over the place here. And our casting spots are too. But let's just see if we get anything here. Typically, I use an 18 clip at the bream spot, but you can do a little more than that. A big carp and stuff on bear. Possibly on bear would be a stretch on amber. Holy long cast, Batman. Um, the gold alpha, especially. Um, Saber is a stretch, even for bear with the really large carp. Yeah, I mean, if you've got Sabre 60-ish reels, you can fish it bare if you're willing to really fight some big carp. And there occasionally may be some that are just too big. I mean, it just kind of depends on, you know, how hot bear is and what size carp are coming in. I, I just think some of the larger grass carp there are going to be a real pain in the booty with Sabre 60s. But if you get up to gold 80s or alpha 8000s, at that point, you're probably a little more comfortable. Um, I'm going to try something here.
Gibble Roach. So what were you, uh, yeah, we were using maggots yesterday. Maggots were working okay. So maybe uh, if semolina ends up being pretty good with the tench, maybe we do a couple semolina and one maggots just to give ourselves the best chance. I don't know. Turn my camera off just for this occasion. I love you. All right. Somebody just uh brought me some coffee. All right, we're close to close to bream time here, but let's was way too far. I'm just trying to eyeball it here instead of actually changing my clip. Okay. I think as we catch a fish here, we got to start changing it over to bream setup. Maybe before we catch a fish, if it doesn't happen soon. So in a very short amount of time, we haven't seen tench, but hopefully uh, I'm gonna have to watch the time, but maybe we'll have a chance like first thing in the morning to give it another couple minutes. I'm really hoping we have a nice bream session here. All right. I'll start getting them set up. So have any of you all that are my faithful and very supportive RF4 watchers, any of y'all checked out the, I'm gonna try Pearl Barley on one, at least to start with. Have any of y'all checked out any of the Fishing Planet leveling content that I've done? Just curious what, what you all thought. It's actually gone surprisingly well. So my buddy Amar has been fishing with me over there. Um, and we've been both just doing like bottom feeder fishing, which isn't, you know, it's not really fishing planet specialty. I mean, it's something they added, they added um, way after the fact kind of thing, but it's actually been pretty good just in terms of, you know, at low level at least, being able to focus on that and start to um, start to get some levels and money. It's not been bad, it's, been, it's gone better than I thought it would at low levels. 
I was nervous that it was going to be something that they added late and then it really only got, you know, gets good like at higher levels. There is, and I am really enjoying that and I'm curious about this new Amazon map and all that, but for me, you know, if I could only play one, there's no doubt it would be RF4. It's just, to me, it's a more complete experience. It checks more boxes for me, but Fishing Planet is still really good. It's got a lot of content. And I think later, later lakes and, okay, what's going on? Did you all get together and say, why don't we all just say want to be friends i want to be your friend on m dog's youtube videos in the beginning i thought that was just something that like people are randomly doing now like um just every time somebody uploads a video it's like people are just at their computer like okay a new video was uploaded you want to be friends or hey i'll support your channel if you want to support your but now i'm starting to think this is something you all have gotten together and said, you know, it would be funny. That's what I think. Hey, that's a good start. One kilo bream. We are bearing down on level 16. 480 silver. So who was it that caught like a six kilo bream at Cory yesterday? Is that a real thing? I mean, none of the weeklies are there. Is there actually like good bottom fishing at court? Look at this. It was Relicade. Where'd you catch that Relicade? Wait a minute. Did y'all all knock me off the uh, weekly list? Not quite. Three different baits. That's cool. Apparently I butcher Dynamics name. All right, we're switching back to garlic dough.
Maybe the whites have moved out. All we're really catching in this spot is bream on garlic dough, although we did get the crucian on pearl barley. Actually, looking at the time, I don't think we're going to be able to fish, fish for tension in the morning. I'll have to do that next time. I've got like less than 20 minutes at this point. What are all of the What are all the fish at donuts that I'm assuming he's talking about like all the uh, float fishing stuff. There's froth. Nice donuts, roughs. There's probably multiple he's got weeklies on. An 88 gram bream. When you catch a bream that wouldn't even be a marker as a white bream, that's pretty bad. Four point four. That's a quick bite. If that is a bite, might have just been settling.
Let's make sure nothing's sitting on this front line. Okay, it's not. It's been really slow. But like I said last time we fished here, this spot has not been great overnight. This spot has been much better from like, I don't know, four to seven, five to eight, something like that. This is a nice one though. That trophy I pulled in on the 3.2 line, that was unreal. That felt like I was pulling in a tank. The one on the weekly, that was on like a size, what, 18 or 20 hook with sweet dough. That was crazy. This will be like three kilos, won't it? Yeah, that's a fatty. Not quite trophy, but that is a fatty. Three and a half kilos. It's a reasonable one. Oh yeah, I never did go back to Mosquito. What were we going to look for at the Mosquito? I know we were going to get garlic. Wasn't I looking for something else too? Oh, that, uh, the black currant dip, which I don't know that we need to do that anymore. We'll see though. Dip's kind of pricey. Not, I mean, uh, I'm afraid we're just going to catch grass carp and stuff on that, but we'll see. It was one thing if we're doing that in the pond area, but out here in the wild, we're not ready to catch a bunch of big grass carp. I like the bite rate's a little better this time of morning than it is overnight. I 
think we need to check this middle line. Minute or two longer, then I gotta hustle. Mm, well, a moon got a nice sturgeon. Drow's got a nice mirror carp. <laughs> Fry almost got a trophy perch. Tench are starting to come in. A little bit of an early tench, but this is kind of when you want to start getting set up for tench, which does take you away from the end of bream time, unfortunately. If you're really going for bream, though, I would not leave before 7, 8 a.m. unless you've got a really hot tench spot, because this is a this is a possibility for like trophy time at this point. But I am straight up running out of time. So let's just go sell our fish. Sorry for the shorter episode, but um, I'll try to get something in tonight. A little bit busier weekend than normal with family stuff, but I'm sure we'll still get some fishing in here and there. Lucky Bream order. White Bream, that's nice. Oh, we did get the Lucky Bream order. 40 silver. That's the real Lucky Bream order. That's a really nice White Bream uh, order as well. All right, so we'll go 40 plus 47 is 87 silver, up to 596, almost 600 silver. I like it. Okay, thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again a little later.